Each book I work on is just cheap therapy, where I'm struggling with some issue going on with myself or the world, so... Yeah, Saga was basically the terror and joy and excitement of becoming a parent. But realizing, like, if you try and describe that to other people, like, you just watch their eyes glaze over, and no one wants to hear you talk about your boring kids, so... By setting in this sort of grand space opera universe, I was hoping to sort of give you the feeling of what it's like to create something. So, yeah, each book is just born out of, oh, where's something weird that's going on inside of me that I want to talk about, and how can I trick people into subsidizing my therapy? I think fiction used to always be about preparing us for the worst things in life, and death obviously being the, the hardest, losing your loved ones or your own life, but... Uh, so fiction always involved. Every Shakespeare play has how many people dying in it. It's only within the last few years sort of our fiction has been controlled by major corporations that there's this desire, well, we can't kill off these characters. We have to sort of keep them alive for a new generation. And death has sort of been neutered in our fiction. So uh, I don't think I'm doing anything new or inventive. I'm just doing what we used to do, which is just tell stories that had real stakes that you would fall in love with characters and then lose them forever. That used to be common, so um, I'm just doing it the old school way. We'd always intended for The Private Eye to just be digital only. Much as I love print comics, we really wanted to try something new. But Robert Kirkman uh, has been bugging us forever, saying, look, there's a whole audience that just likes reading print and you've abandoned them. Please let Image have a Private Eye to do in print. And Marcus and I jokingly said, w w you can have Private Eye if we can have Walking Dead. And Robert was like, no problem, done. <laughs> and like, oh no, he called our bluff. But uh, yeah, we thought it would be fun if, uh, so we're letting Image do this hardcover print version in exchange. Uh, Robert is giving us The Walking Dead. So we're gonna do a digital only issue that'll come out probably early next year. And it'll be on panel syndicate, so you can pay whatever you want, including nothing. And it is a canonical, uh, uh, story set in the Walking Dead universe that'll have some real stakes, but if you've never read Walking Dead, you'll be able to enjoy it. If you love Walking Dead and you don't want to read this, you don't need to, but yeah, that, uh, that'll be out before the end of the year, or early next year. As much as I'm talking about digital and wanting to be a pioneer yeah. there, I'm an old school print hound, who, I love the smell of paper, you know, and we knew this book was going to be about the 1980s, and it's about newspaper delivery girls, so we just wanted to make a physical object that was beautiful and didn't feel like just sort of a cheap loss leader for, you know, a collection down the line, so yeah, even though the, the paper is really expensive and we got a, a cover stock, uh, you know, that was also uh, pretty pricey, yeah, we just felt we wanted to make a beautiful book and still, you know, have it be cheap. So we, we might take a bath on this, but we're hopeful that enough people sort of support it to justify us uh, splurging on the paper.